Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I will explain to you how you can play Resident Evil Survivor with mouse and keyboard. First off, make sure you have these four files downloaded. I will put a link to these two into the description and this and this you have to find yourself. Just do a quick Google search with something like Duck Station BIOS and Resident Evil Survivor North American ROM and you should find them. The BIOS should be this size and, and this is for all three regions, so not only USA but everything. The game should be this size and I have it in these two files. If you have the exact same it should work. When you have all this downloaded you can go to Duck Station. I prefer the QT release so we will use that and you should see this if you never used it before. Click on add game directionary and go to your game. Just select folder, don't double click on it, just here select folder. This should be fine, click on yes and it should be there. After that you, uh, you can go to settings, interface. You can leave most of it completely on default, so I will just go through the few that we change. First off, make sure you have checked start and full screen and make sure you have checked double click toggles full screen because this is important for the tutorial. After that go to BIOS and again select your BIOS folder like that. Should be fine, here is auto detect but you can also manually select it. Should work like this. After that go to graphics. Make sure you have one of OpenGL, Vulkan or Direct3D as renderer because software only works in native PS1 resolution. I like to use Direct3D 11 because this works fine. Make sure to select your GPU and not like your integrated graphics. And the rest can also be on default or like ever you want. For example, I like to up the internal resolution to something a bit higher. You can also use this, but this can be a bit unstable and some games crash in certain parts when you have this activated. So I will leave it unchecked for the most stable experience, but like I said, you can pretty much choose whatever you want because most of the settings are completely stable and work perfect. But if you have anything, close this menu, click on settings again, but this time go to controllers. Here will again restore to default and you should see something like this. I don't like this mappings so I will clear the mapping completely because we only need a few buttons. I will put my controller mapping into the description. Feel free to copy it if you want to. I like it that way but you can also do whatever you want. The only thing you have to make sure is that you don't map tab and that you don't map space because these two are important for the emulator. But if you are finished, just close this again and now we can start the game. Double click on it. I have to make a fresh boot because I played it before, but it should just start for you or ask you if you want to make a fast boot or a complete boot or something like that, but just start it like ever you want. This can take a little time, but I always wait for the screen and then I press space. Press this to pause the game. Then I double click on it to exit the full screen. And if you have done this, you can easily go to your folder again, where you put all your stuff and go to mouse injector. Just start the exit and this is normal, like everything is fine. Read this and press control and one at the same time. Then you should be here. You always see no game loaded. It's a bit tricky in my experience to get it loaded but I found a reliable solution. Go back to your game, double click again for full screen and now press base and 4. With that I started the injection tool. You can always see my mouse is still free so I press escape. I close the game, exit and save set. You can also choose to exit without saving, but I like my save state. And now you suddenly see my mouse is locked. And if I press 4 to unlock it and go to the injection tool, I can see Resident Evil Survivor. So I start the game again, 
load state and now I press 4. For example, if I press escape now, you can see my mouse is locked, so that the tool is working. And it should be for you too, if you followed all the steps correctly. And this is pretty much it. There isn't much more. Just start a new game. Whatever difficulty you want. Resident Evil Survivor. And as you can see, we are in game now. I'm controlling it with my mouse, with my keyboard. Everything is working fine. And if you like this video and found it to be helpful, please subscribe and comment. And feel free to ask if you still have any questions. And enjoy the game. See you next time. You... You look familiar, 